Hello everybody, welcome back to Barrow's Garage here. Well, it's early morning, but I got a little light coming in now, so I can jump in here and get this uh, going a little bit. I'll show you what I've done so far on this uh, big old 460 that we're getting ready to dump into that uh, fair lane, hopefully for the last time. Okay, you can see here, I've pulled the crank out. Uh, I think I got video on that. I don't know. I got video all over the place right now. I got to edit still. But I point, went ahead and pulled the crank. You seen that I checking the bearings and everything. Well, I, <laughs> I had to get in there and uh, thoroughly check them. I come across a couple of things that are kind of iffy, but uh, I, <laughs> they turned out to be nothing. But it's always better to be sure, <laughs> especially with 3,200 miles that you're looking at than uh, taking a guess. Anyway, some of the things I wanted to show you here on these, on these Fords that, uh, it, I don't know, it, if you're like me, you kind of geek out on this kind of stuff, but back when Ford first introduced their overheads in the Y blocks, uh, overhead valves, uh, they, they've made the switch from the, uh, the old flatheads to uh, what everybody else was going to, they had oiling problems. They had huge oiling problems. And they tried a few things that just didn't work. Anyway, that led to a lot of warranty work. So they decided to correct that with the FE. Well, with the first generations of FEs, uh, they starved the bottoms and then they over oiled the top. <laughs> so those first FEs, they had oiling problems. And then later on, they slowly started to work them out. Well, this is a 77, uh, and it's pretty, pretty much the same as all up through on the big block Ford. Um, one of the cool things you can see here is their oiling system now. Now, here, let's see, let's see if I can find a good one here. You can see they don't have an oiling groove in the main bearings. They have what I'd call a canal. I mean, it's a good, oh, it's over a sixteenth of an inch, I'd say, canal groove for the oil to pass through and will thoroughly oil the main bearings on a Ford. Let's see if I can get this one out. And you can see the oiling holes in these things are just absolutely 100% huge, and they double them up. And on the bearing, you can see there's a big open slot, so there is no way you can uh, miss that oiling hole when you slip her into place. It will always get oil in there. Even if this spins a little bit, it's still going to get oil in there. Uh, you can tell that was Ford thinking way ahead from the mistakes that they made way back in the past. Anyway, that's a little, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I, I kind of geek out on that kind of stuff. Anyway, I went through, I checked all the bearings. They're fine, they're, they're better than fine. Uh, only place I see a little bit of copper is right here. And I mean, it is minute. So I'm not even worried about that. Anyway, Went ahead and pulled them, cleaned everything, cleaned it again, and now I'm ready to set the crank because everything in here is better than Ezra. And as well, I checked the bottoms of the cylinders. Everything in here is just pristine, ready to go. Anyway. So, I'm ready to drop the crank back in, uh, set my mains back, uh, set the rod bearings, retorque everything. Uh, get to, <laughs> The problem I had, the reason I had to pull this, is because that rear main seal was stuck in there. I mean, totally 100% stuck in there, and I had to dig it out. So I went ahead and pulled the crank because I really wanted to check it out really good. Uh, there are some tricks on how to get that rear main out, but you know, I was in this this far so far, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and pulled the crank and thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned and checked everything. 
you don't have to go this far but like i said in the situation i'm in i went ahead and did it anyway that's where i'm at now i just wanted to kind of show you those uh ford canals oil canals in their main bearings that they really you can see they really took their time and really thought about keeping them bearings oiled and uh that's one of the reasons that Fords, over, I'd have to say over all the other brands, really hold together well under some extreme punishment, uh, neglect, everything. A Ford will, they're, they're hard to kill. And it's because they thought ahead in a lot of things like that. Anyway, that's my uh, little bit to do on this one. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that crank back in and get everything torqued down. So in the meantime, get out there and uh, get some metal hot. And I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully when I'm uh, sticking the pan on here or doing something more fun than just showing you the stuff that I've already done. We'll catch you on the next one.